everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today it is the last video of my Land Rover customization. And I'm going to add this uh, little dude here is going to be the driver and I don't need his legs. Okay, it seems <coughs> to fit now, but I need to take his arms as well because he needs to drive. So I'm going to create my own arms and also a steering wheel. Okay, now that I've cleaned the remainings of the original steering wheel, this guy here seems to fit okay, but I'm going to add this uh, ring here, which I created from a straight um, piece of metal. And it is going to be the steering wheel for this car. I've scratched the ring a little bit with my Dremel in order to create scratches that will allow the glue to stick better on the ring and now I want to see if there is enough room and if there is going to be some interference with the um, clear plastic of the windshield and I think it is going to be okay. Now for a little bit of testing, I need to be able to um, place this body and take it off a few times after I will finish with this uh, detailing and right now I'm just adding a little bit of epoxy uh, metallic glue and while it's still in its uh, liquid form, I'm trying to stretch uh, something that will look like arms for my little uh, driver here. Whenever I'm creating a new shape from epoxy, I am able to do that in a period of time and it is a very short one because the epoxy glue dries very quickly so I have to be fast and catch the moment in which I can shape the dude's arms and I think I got it okay so this is the basic color and it's a brown matte brown color and right now I'm going to add the side view mirrors and they're going to be mounted on the front of each fender. It is very comfortable and very easy for me to use this metal sheet and the reason is because I'm used to do that and I know there are many kinds of uh, materials that you can use but lately I found out that this is the best uh, material for me and I can control its shape and also by the end it is very strong
The tiny flag shaped mirror is now mounted on the fender and after I will see that it fits okay I will add a little bit of epoxy glue in order to secure it properly to the fender. The mirrors are a little bit thin, so I'm adding a little bit of epoxy glue for each one of them. It will give the mirror a more realistic look. And now you can see the mirrors are nicely attached. And this is the color that I've chosen for my car. The interior was sprayed with matte white and I will also add some details to it later. Now I will add some details to the interior. I have to paint the spare wheel, the driver, the steering wheel and the dashboard.
I didn't mention that earlier, but one of my decisions about this car was to split the windshield. And now you can see that it turned out to be a um, very nice addition. Because from what I saw on Google, the original car has a split window at the front. Now I'm going to create a rear bench for this car. After adding this one, I will make another one. And there are going to be a pair of uh, benches at the back. And here they are. And here's the car. Please let me know what you think about this project. I know it was a little bit long, but I wanted to show you all the details and the process. I will also give you a link for the video that inspired me to create this uh, custom Land Rover. And tell me what you think about that one as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.